kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of our relocation franchise with the Honolulu Desperados. That is right, we are back and we are in the year three playoffs. Can you believe it? Playoffs? That's right. We're in the year three playoffs. We are 16-1. and one. We had perfection on the table, but we lost a game last episode towards the end of the season, which is unfortunate, so we didn't go for the perfect season. But still, 16-1, and one, best record by far in the NFL. Obviously, we cinched up the number one seed, and we will have the entirety of of the playoff run in today's video. So where, whether that's going to be just one game against the Philadelphia Eagles today, which I hope it's not. It's what it was last season when we played the 49ers. Actually, no. Did we lose in the divisional round? I think we did. I think we did because we made the wild card. No, we were the number one seed again. Yeah, we lost to the Niners in the divisional round. That's right. So last season we lost after making the playoffs for the first time ever. This season, I hope, is a change of fate. I hope this year we can actually win our first playoff game in franchise history. It's, it's going to be tough. I think we can do it. We have a much better team than we had last year just in terms of development of some of our young players, including Anthony Richardson. Uh, so I'm hoping that he can take that next step and get even closer to that X factor, which is going to be very, very huge if he can get but this is going to include the entirety of the postseason. So whether we lose in game one in the divisional round or we go all the way to the Super Bowl... And we win it, hopefully. Or we lose it, I guess. But I hopefully we win it. So you guys will already know how long the video is by looking at the timestamp. But I uh, I have no idea. So I'm hoping that it's a longer video and we can win a bunch of these playoff games and actually win a playoff game for the first time. Luckily, we don't have to go up against the 49ers. I don't even think the 49ers made the playoffs. They went 10-7. and 7. It's a good shot that they did, but it's also a good shot that they didn't. I guess we'll find out after we play the Philadelphia Eagles. I hope you guys go and enjoy this playoff video. Next episode, regardless of what happens in this video, will be the year three offseason. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait. Let's go see what happens in this playoffs. Like I mentioned in the intro, we are 16-1, and best record in football, number one seed in the NFC, and we are playing the Philadelphia Eagles in the divisional round. The rest of the bracket is Chargers at the one seed taking the four-seeded Ravens. Dolphins at number two playing the three-seeded Colts. And then it is the seven, excuse me, seven-seeded Philadelphia Eagles who beat the number two-seeded Giants, which is crazy. And then the Lions at four and the Seahawks at six. So the Niners did not make the playoffs, which is good to know because they're the defending Super Bowl champions. That gives us an easier path. I think we can get this done. If you're curious about stats... For, last uh, for season three, go back and watch last episode. We took a look at all of that at the end of the video. So we're not going to focus on any of that. This is all about the playoffs. This is all about the games. Let's go in and see if we can get our first ever playoff win in franchise history. Since it is the playoffs, then you know I had to, to go crazy with the jersey combo in the playoffs for year number three. So we're rocking the all reds here in the divisional round against the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're jumping in here to try to get this job done on third and four. It's knocked away. Bijan couldn't handle it. Maybe that was the wrong decision, but regardless, it didn't work for us. And Philadelphia takes a, an early three, nothing lead. I'm going to let the offense handle it for here. And we go back with a field goal of our own. All right, but we need to actually play a little bit better here. Third down and nine. Ooh, that was a huge play. A big reception by Devonta Smith, it looks like. And it's 10-10 into the second quarter. Another field or another touchdown by Philadelphia. I cannot have it be back-to-back -back seasons of disappointment in the divisional round. We have to at least make it to the NFC title game for the first time. And Bijan's just running over everybody. I guess that's what X Factor does for you. I forget what X Factor I gave him. Can I see what X Factor I gave him? I gave him ankle breaker. Did I mean to give him ankle breaker? I don't remember. I might have. I do like ankle breaker. I think it's a good ability. I know I gave him hot route master. Or uh, backfield master, I mean. Let's just give it to him out of the backfield right away. Use that X-Factor ability. 
And it only gets a yard. Okay, maybe I would have had something better there, but that's okay. Verticals, under a minute to go. Devontae Smith has press coverage. And the safety didn't help over the top. If Richardson can deliver this, this could be a big-time play, and it goes just over. That has happened so many times in this rebuild. Oh, that has happened so many times where Richardson has a man absolutely wide open, butt naked, and he just overthrows him slightly. Uh, I don't have anybody here, but Richardson might be able to run away. I was... I panicked. I didn't want to throw a bad ball. I did not want to throw a bad ball there. That's unfortunate. I just, I didn't want to make anything bad happen. I might have had somebody open. We need to score a touchdown here. A big stop on third and 12. This is a huge chance for us. The defense is big. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles, they need to choke like they did in real life. Brian Brissy chasing after Hurts. He throws it away. Third and 12, they're going to have to kick a field goal, I think. Good job from Brissy forcing the pressure. We do a good job there. I don't know if they keep the field goal or not, but they don't have any points. Uh, we give the ball back to Philadelphia. We can't let the Philadelphia Eagles get the ball back here. Big drive. Red zone alert. We scored a touchdown to tie, tie the game. I don't want to jump in here. I didn't mean to press that. We score a touchdown to tie the game. Eagles, third and four, fourth and one. They kicked the field goal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at those. Look at that play. Right? Okay, you can't see my finger pointing, but one big one, another big one, and then another big one. Oh my god, and then we scored a touchdown! Puka Nakua with the touchdown catch! Second and ten, third and six. Come on, team. It's a four-point game. Third and five. Oh, we did it! We won our first playoff game in franchise history. Oh, man, that was down to the wire. Anthony Richardson, Devonta Smith... And Puka Nakua got it done. And that's the man right there. That's the QB. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Anthony Richardson gets the job done. And the Desperados, for the first time in their franchise's history, have won a playoff game in the NFL. I'm so happy that we got it done. And I'm so happy that we didn't lose and I had to end the video after one playoff game like I did last season. <laughs> Big W's. For the boys, Richardson is up to an 87 overall now. And we get a huge victory. And we are playing in the NFC title game for the first time ever. Oh, man. Against Detroit. The four-seeded Detroit Lions will take on the number one seed, Desperados. The highest seed remaining. Because the Chargers lost to the Ravens by, I'm guessing, a field goal to win the game. 15 to 14 and then the Dolphins beat the Colts so it's two versus four on the AFC side of things and it's one versus four on the NFC side of things a trip to the Super Bowl is on the line oh my god the stakes could not be higher unless obviously we were in the actual Super Bowl but this is it ladies and gentlemen the first NFC title game in franchise history is hosted in Honolulu of all places Let's go see if we can make it to the Super Bowl for the first time ever. Here we are. It is NFC Championship game. And I realized that we didn't really take a look at what the Eagles had to work with. So we'll take a look at what the Lions have. We'll see what the Lions are working with here. Mac Jones is the starting quarterback for the Detroit Lions. All right. Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. Amon Ross St. Brown. Gabe Davis. Donovan Peoples. Jones. What a weird team this has been. Oh, by the way, Amon Ross St. Brown's a 99 overall. All right, Sam Laporta at tight end, Taylor Decker, jo Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnow, Trey Turner, and Panay Sewell. So pretty standard Lions offensive line. Garrison Carmichael, rookie from somewhere, is the starting left end. Aiden Hutchinson on the right end. Aline McNeil in the middle with Josh Allen, Jack Campbell, and David Ajabo as the linebackers. And then Joey Spence, another rookie, 77 overall. Mike Hughes, Emmanuel Mosley, Jelani Baker at corner. C.J. Gardner-Johnson at free safety. Brian Branch is strong. This is a low-key, very good Lions team. I am kind of scared to play these guys. But they only went 10-7. and seven. We were the best team in football by a long shot. If Bijan can get the edge here, we're wearing our classic all-gray uniforms now for the NFC title game. I had to put on a show with the fit. 
in front of the Honolulu faithful for the NFC title game. And I'm just heaving one. And Unjoku has it knocked down in front of him. I was, I'm, I'm getting a little crazy here. The bright lights are on. I want to impress the fans here in the stadium. And Aiden Hutchinson ruined my day. Oh, that wasn't Aiden Hutchinson. That was Jack Campbell. I saw the arm brace. I thought it was Hutchinson. Does Hutchinson even wear an arm brace? No, he doesn't. I, I, for some reason, I, I saw a white guy running at me. I thought it was Hutchinson. It was Jack Campbell. Uh, uh oh, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna try to make a better mistake than I, or a better mistake, better play than I made last time against the Eagles, and it works out in my favor. Devonta Smith with a huge catch. Now, what do we go with here? Let's go Devon A. Chan halfback stretch. This should hopefully open up. There's a couple blocks. A. Chan gets a decent block, and six yards is good enough. That's a good run from A. Chan. Let's go with inside post. This could work for Njoku getting up the middle. I'm hoping at least. That's my that's my go-to target here. Njoku, middle. That's a tight throw. It's going to be knocked incomplete. That was risky. I either should have highballed it or I should have not thrown it. That was a risky pass. Never should have been put in that spot. Or should have made a better throw. I'm just going to take off and run with, with uh, Richardson here just to make sure we get the yardage. And we do. First down achieved by Anthony Richardson. We'll go right back into that, but give a little bit of... Oh, that's face mask. I was going to say give a little read option. Hutchinson brings down Richardson, but not without a cost. It is a face mask on, on Aiden Hutchinson, and we get those extra 15 yards. That's a big play. That's a massive play. Can I... Do a little bit of pass, prote pass protection here? No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not really 100% certain on how to do audibles, <laughs> if we're being totally honest. Second and 11 after the failed run. And I got locked down. You locked me down on a run play? That's insane. Ooh, who do we trust here? Do we just go Puka underneath? That might be the best option. Uh, and I think it has to be Puka getting intercepted, Anthony Richardson. Alex Anzalone picks it off. I didn't want to throw it to Puka, but I had to because I was getting pressure from the linebackers and then the ball just came out inaccurately. It's unfortunate, but it happens a lot, especially to me. And the Lions have put up another touchdown. It's 14-7. We're trying to keep the down or the drive alive here. Oh, this is going to be close here. We got to snap this ball quickly. Get it up the field. We have one timeout and Joku's got ourselves uh in field goal range. Good job from David Njoku. Let's drill the field goal. It's 14-10 into the half. 17-14. That's massive, but the Lions... Man, I told you, man. This Lions team is low-key stacked. They are low-key stacked. This is not an easy matchup, even though they're the... The what? The four seed or something? Bijan has a great turn up the field and a great run. Four-yard line is where we are now. And do we just hand it off to Bijan one more time? See if he can get in there. That's another face mask. They are just handsy with the face mask. They're getting their hands up there. And the Dolphins, I just saw in the bottom ticker, the Dolphins have beaten the Ravens. It'll be the Miami Dolphins in the Super Bowl to play either the Lions or the Desperados. Oh, baby. That is a crazy turn of events, but it has happened. Give the ball to Bijan one more time, and he gets in there, and we've got our lead back. We've got our lead back here in the NFC Championship. Let's go, Bijan. That's what I'm talking about. He's getting hype. Get hype, baby. You deserve it. Big time score. Big time touchdown. 24-21. Oh, we're going to kick a field goal? I don't want to kick a field goal. <laughs> Let's go back. 27-21. Come on, defense. Let's jump in here. Use Micah Parsons. See if we can get some... Some pressure on Mac Jones. It's Mac Jones. He's not that good. Trust me. <laughs> They're going to hand it off. Jameer Gibbs. Get in the backfield. Oh, my God. Paulson Adebo. Showing him who's boss with the flex. That's a massive one. It's third and seven. They tried the little stretch. It did not work. From the 18-yard line. They're going to hand it to Gibbs again. Same exact play. This time they get the better blocking. It's a first down. What was the difference on that play? It was so much better blocking. 
I'm not sure why it was so much better blocking. I gotta, I keep forgetting to turn off the pop-ups, the tutorial pop-ups. I thought I had them off, but I guess I don't. And it's Jameer Gibbs again, big hit, but Jameer Gibbs at the two yard line for the Lions next possession. We need to bring the house. Blitz everybody. Blitz everybody, get pressure on Mac Jones. Into the end zone, wide open, touchdown Sam Laporta. The Lions just will not quit. It is 28-27. I need to trust the team. Big, big field goal. It's 30-28. Oh my god. The Lions can win with a field goal. And they might have just done it. The Detroit Lions. We have no timeouts. Oh my god. I cannot believe we are in the NFC Championship. And it's 31-30. We gotta get in a field goal range no matter what. Devonta Smith brings it in. Oh my god, was he out of bounds? I don't know if he was out of bounds. Daniel Carson's 42-yard line. He made the catch. He wasn't out of bounds. We gotta go. We gotta go. Who's gonna get open? It's gonna go. Interception! Ball game! It would have been hard to, to stop the clock regardless. But Brian Branch picks off Anthony Richardson and the Desperados will lose in the NFC title game. It was an inaccurate ball. It wouldn't have got us a touchdown anyway. It probably wouldn't even have got us a field goal. But the Detroit Lions will play in the Super Bowl against the Miami Dolphins. <sighs> we had it. We had it. We just couldn't hold the Lions. I told you they were a low-key, unbelievably talented team. Their record didn't... This, this happened for the second year in a row. I just realized... We lost in year two in the divisional round of the 49ers who were a 10-win team who were not a 10-win team on actual on the field. They just, for some reason, didn't play well enough in the, the regular season to win more than 10 games. They obviously went on to win the Super Bowl. And now this year, we lose in the NFC title game to a Detroit Lions team that is also 10-7 who were nowhere near a 10-7 team, actually. What is it with our luck? What is it with our luck, man? That's two years in a row where we lose to teams that weren't actually as bad as what their record said. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl roster. Richardson is Pro Bowl quarterback number one. Bijan makes it. That's two players. Uh, we've got Devontae Smith. That's three. Puka is four. And Joku's five. No, but, oh, Grubbs is six. Then we've got Paris Johnson, seven. Michael Parsons, eight. Anybody else? The boot. We don't have either one of these guys, I don't think. Buda Baker or Cam Curl. So we had eight players on the Pro Bowl team this year. That is not supposed to happen. We were supposed to be in the Super Bowl this year. Oh, this was our year. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe we lost to the Lions. We were the better team. We were the better team. Richardson goes up to an 88 overall. Detroit versus Miami in the Super Bowl. Let's take a look. Maybe I can raise my spirits with a little bit of Deb Trait progression. Anthony Richardson is a freaking X Factor now. Oh, I'm so happy. That is much needed. Absolutely much needed. He's got Freight Trainers X Factor. We're not going to give him that. We're going to probably give him Run and Gun, I would guess. I do tend to roll out of the pocket. So we're going to give him we're going to give him running gun. We're going to certainly give him quick draw. Uh, he doesn't really get a bunch of the good ones until he's even higher over of an overall, but we're going to give him uh sideline dead eye. We're going to give him no look dead eye and then probably bulldozer for just him being a, a running quarterback and then we'll obviously adjust these as we as he gets higher overall and he develops but having him as an x factor is massive we needed that remember he started out as a star development quarterback when we started this this journey the offensive line is looking pretty good obviously in joku and fryermuth are amazing Bijan and achan are amazing the wide receivers are fantastic now, what about the defense? We haven't looked at the defense just yet. Oh, we did have Buda Baker, so we had nine. I forgot we had Buda Baker. We had nine Pro Bowlers instead of eight Pro Bowlers. And he's an X-Factor. Was he already an X-Factor? I don't think he was. 
Sauce is X-Factor. He was All three of these guys were already X-Factors. But I don't think Buddha was. I think he was Superstar. Deron Bland is Star. I don't know if he was already Star or not. Greg Rousseau hasn't gone up a Superstar development, which is a little bit upsetting. But the team's looking really good. And why cannot Kaiser, Kaiser White can just not get development trade? Come on, man. Cut me some slack here. Give me a development upgrade for him. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to make any moves in free agency because we spent all that money to bring those guys back, which we absolutely needed to do. But that raises my spirits a little bit. I mean, obviously, I would have loved to win the Super Bowl, at least play in the Super Bowl. But having... Anthony Richardson head into year number four with X Factor makes me a lot happier. It does make me a lot happier. Now we just need to get him higher overall to get him unlocked all of those really, really good abilities like Hot Route Master and uh, all the good ones. Protected, all the all the abilities that you want out of a quarterback. So let's simulate the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 60. Will the Detroit Lions... One of these teams is going to win their first ever Super Bowl. Oh, actually, that's not true. What am I thinking? The Dolphins won two in the 70s. I'm stupid. But it's, it doesn't matter. The Detroit Lions have won their first Super Bowl in franchise history. Obviously, they have a few uh, NFL titles from back in the 50s. But in the Super Bowl era, the Lions have never won a championship until today. Aiden Hutchinson is the Super Bowl MVP. Lamar gets MVP of the league. We get coach of the year. Lamar Jackson wins Offensive Player of the Year as well. Micah Parsons wins Defensive Player of the Year. Timmy Oliver, the tight end for the Chiefs, is Offensive Rookie of the Year. And Enrique Batista from the Seahawks, who was a guy that I wanted to draft last, last offseason, he wins Defensive Rookie of the Year. So we've done three seasons of this. The Bills won it in year one. And Mahomes won MVP of the league. Uh, Micah Parsons won Defensive Player of the Year. Last year, Micah Parsons wins Defensive Player of the Year again. So he's a three-time Defensive Player of the Year in this uh, rebuild or in this series. The Niners won the championship. This is the team that we lost to, obviously. Brock Purdy wins MVP of the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow won the MVP. Bijan also got Offense Player of the Year, which is what took him up to Superstar X Factor. And then this season, Micah Parsons, a three-time Defensive Player of the Year in this series. Lamar Jackson gets an MVP. And the Lions have their first ever championship in franchise history. Congratulations to Lions fans. Maybe this is going to happen in real life. Who knows? I don't know. Any big-time retirements? Kirk Cousins, Mitch Morse, Mitch? CJ Mosley, Big Play Slay, Stephon Gilmore, Russell Wilson, some, some actual big names. I don't think we had anybody, though. We don't really have that old of a team, so yeah, I, I didn't... It's not shocked that we don't have anybody retiring. Not a big shock. But there are some pretty big names. Nobody that wasn't already on a team, it looks like. Oh, Cordell Patterson, I guess, is a decent name. He's the, the best kick returner of all time, I guess, so... But that is going to be it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. We made it to the NFC Championship. We lost by a singular point, the Detroit Lions. And this is now the second year in a row where we have lost to the eventual Super Bowl champions. Year two, we lost to the Niners. They went on to win the title. This year, year three, we lose to the Lions. They went on to win the title. That's just what happens to us, I guess, man. That is just what happens to us. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super pumped for year number four. I think that, I know I said year number three was going to be our year. I really do believe that with a good off season, considering we can't go in free agency, with a good draft, basically, I think we can go and win a championship in year number four. But we got we to gotta go through the off season next episode. Then we got to go through the season in the next two. And then get right back to this spot and win a Super Bowl. I think we can do it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.